what's going on everybody got another video here for you uh today what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, the cross product product of two vectors actually at the what it looks like in a graph uh, so this is not going over how to find the cross product but uh but uh it's just going to be a demonstration of what it looks like this video is assuming you know how to find the cross product if you don't know how to find the cross product just go look at my channel and i've got a video on how to find the cross product all right so let's get started so we've got two vectors let's see so to type it in and, and what i'm using i'm using geogebra just go to geogebra.org and here let me let me show you so you go to geogebra.org and this right here comes up and i'm going to the 3d calculator for this okay all right now so to put in a vector i'm going to put vector and you can see here you I'm, i do it by start point and end point so we want it, we want this vector to go from the origin so i'll have to put a parenthesis zero comma zero comma zero and then you just move over here to endpoint parenthesis and then you put your vector in and this is going to be vector one three four and hit enter and you can see it labels it vector u and there's the vector drawn in three dimension and you can see you can kind of you can move it around and see what it looks like all right and then we want to put in our second second vector so i'm going to put vector and i'll come over here and put start point to end point so this parenthesis zero comma zero comma zero and then we'll put our vector in which is two seven negative five and hit enter and there's this vector here and you can see that it's it's dashed right here so notice how it's dashed and then it gets solid that's just showing that it's underneath the uh the xy plane you see there see how it goes under that's a pretty neat little program here it works pretty good all right so now let's do the cross product of the two vectors so i'm going to type in cross and you see there cross just hover over it and cross and then it wants the two vectors that'll give you the cross product so all i have to do since i've already put in my two vectors i want to do the cross product of vector u and vector v see how it went ahead and named them so i'm just going to type in u and then you see the comma there i'll go to the other side of it v and hit enter and you can see it actually calculates the cross product for you and so i think i can click on here and hit settings and we can go to color and let's make this one red and you can see there's the there's the cross product right here that's your cross product and you can kind of we can turn this thing around and you can kind of you see get you an idea what it looks like right there and that's it you, you can kind of see that little dot right there let's see if we can kind of maybe zoom in a little bit all right you see you see you got this vector right here and then this vector you got vector u vector v and there's your cross product coming out so that's pretty neat so this is something good that you can you can use um, when you're dealing with cross product so it actually it actually does calculate the cross product for you all right so i hope this video helped check out my other videos give me a like share subscribe comment and i'll see you in the next one later